Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a computer that's running Ubuntu 12.04. This is actually Lubuntu, which means that it's using the LXDE desktop environment, a fairly lightweight environment which works well on computers with uh, slower processors, less memory, and so forth. Uh, works well with older computers, but also relatively simple computers, such as the Android 4.0 mini PC. Uh, which is actually running this booting off of a micro SD card, which is right in there. It's a 4GB card. And this is a version of Lubuntu that's been compiled by the folks at the uh, Mini and Forums. And it's pretty functional. So I'll show you a com couple different applications that we've got here. We've got a uh, file browser, word processor, synaptic package manager that lets you download and install other apps, and the Chromium web browser. This particular build the uh, web browser loads, but for some reason, even though I'm connected to the internet and I can download applications, I can't uh, actually seem to get it to surf the internet. Um, but there are other builds where the uh, the Wi-Fi and the web browsers all do work properly. The reason I'm showing you this again, because I've actually uh, done a previous video where you can check out some more details about Lubuntu running on this device, is that we're now running at um, 1080p. So if we go to Preferences, Monitor Settings, you'll see that we've got screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. Out of the box, the Android 4.0 mini PC only seems to work with 720p, which is around 1280 by 720 or 1366 by 768. Um, it works that way running the default Android 4.0 software, and it works that way uh, running the previous builds of uh, Ubuntu and Puppy Linux that I've tried, and that's caused some problems with the HDMI output on this particular Dell monitor that I'm using, because it doesn't seem to know how to handle 720 input. It's a 1080p um, monitor, and so it has sort of overscan problems. With 1080p, though, when running at native resolution, there's no overscan difficulty. What that means is that nothing is off the screen. Everything sort of works perfectly. So. Um, and you've got more pixels, so you can fit more stuff on the screen at the same time. Here we've got side-by-side -side three windows. They don't quite all fit, but uh, overall it's pretty impressive. Anyways, uh, so you can find more details about enabling 1080p support using one of the pre-configured uh, versions of Ubuntu, Lubuntu, um, and uh, yeah, and more at lilliputing.com. This is due to the uh, folks at the Mini and Forums again. Keep an eye on their uh, progress for more details about how to enable more features. Uh, this is still sort of early days of uh, hacking and tweaking Linux running on the Android 4.0 Mini PC. It's a little computer that sells for under $100. I picked mine up for $74. Has a um, all-winner A10 processor, Mali 400 graphics, uh, this particular model has 512 megs of RAM and 4 gigabytes of built-in storage. Some other versions have 1 gigabyte of RAM. And uh, overall, it's a pretty versatile machine that's uh, fairly responsive. You'll see, you know, it's not the fastest computer. Uh, it takes a little while to load certain applications. Let's load something that I haven't loaded yet. Let's try the Firefox web browser. And you'll see, you know, it's, it doesn't come up quite instantly. But uh, given the price, given that we're talking about something that sells for under $100 here, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive what you can do. And now one of the things you can do is 1080p output. Um, stay tuned. More details coming eventually. This is Brad Linder at Lilliputing.com.